I'm David Berlin coming to you from CES 2012 in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're looking for the hottest gadgets all around the show. We've been out looking for them. We found a bunch. They're on informationweek.com right now. But I think I've stumbled upon one that just about any aficionado of HD imagery on your TV will we'll enjoy. And staying with me to tell me about it is Paul Darby. He's the founder of Darby Vision. So Paul, what do you have here at the show that everybody's going to love? Well, what we do is we uh, make uh, pictures really pop. What we do uh, uh, to make them pop is we put depth cues into them. We, it's a two-dimensional image that we uh, give a real 3D effect to. Uh -huh. All right, so um, today the purveyors of HD technology, Blu-ray, you know, all the great um, you know, content that's out there. Uh, IMAX, it, it, supposedly brilliant and beautiful. And what you're saying is, is that you can actually take that and make it better? Well, it's based on a discovery that comes really from neuroscience. And uh, what it does is it goes beyond fidelity. I mean, more pixels, more colors, faster frame rate, better signal to noise ratio, that's wonderful stuff. But what we've discovered is that you can go beyond fidelity. And what you can do is you can do some of the processing that the brain does and you can use digital technology to put that into the pixels of the picture. And now the picture helps you to see it. It's okay. meeting you halfway. Now that sounds like rocket science. Is this your background? Were you once a rocket scientist that knew about how the brain works and all that? <laughs> well, you know, I've been a serial entrepreneur all my life and I guess that's because I never really wanted to have a real job. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, so you founded some companies before. What was the company you had before this? Well, I think the big one is the is Universal Electronics, uh, which uh, makes uh, pre-programmed uh, universal remote controls, and uh -huh. uh, they've sold uh, hundreds of millions of those wow. all around the world. So you're back at it, and obviously a guy like you who's been through that once isn't going to sink some time into something unless he really believes in it. And I'm standing here in front of an image that we're looking at a, a, a split screen of uh, some IMAX content that's on a Blu-ray player. And uh, on the left here, um, I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, well, IMAX stuff, it should be really good to begin with. But on the right, which is a feed coming out of your product, it's actually um, incredibly, an, an incredibly improved image. It's much sharper, much clearer, popping. N not 3D, but pretty darn close to being 3D, and we don't even have any 3D glasses on. Well, uh, as I uh, turn the effect on and off full screen, uh, you can see what the difference is. Mm -hmm. Uh, we analyze the picture and we figure out what it looks like not only from uh, the right hand side but also from the left hand side. So we uh, mathematically create a left and a right image and then we use a patented technique to put uh, that the differences between those two views into the picture that you're seeing. Okay, now I'm going to pick up the device that we're talking about here and uh, this is um this is what we're talking about. It's this little tiny device that, what, it sits between, uh, first of all, do we need a special screen or gla anything? No, you don't. It works with anything that's HDMI. So it's got one HDMI input and it's got one HDMI, HDMI output. And we call it a tweener because it goes between whatever your source is and whatever your uh, display is. So it works with video games. It works with uh, phones that can output HDMI, it works with Blu-ray players, it works with cable boxes, satellite boxes, whatever, your computer, whatever you've got. Any HDMI source, and you can connect it to any big screen that's capable of right. getting HDMI input. So and it's just this, just sits, as you say, a tweener, it just sits in between. It sits in between. Tweener is not the name of the product, that's the category of products that mm -hmm. this is one of. We call it a darblet. See, see darblet? <laughs> yeah. That's what it's called, darblet. It seems remarkably simple. Um, why now? I mean, couldn't we've had this uh, a long time ago when HD first came out? Well, I wish. Uh, we had to wait. Uh, actually, I discovered the uh, underlying principle of this 40 years ago. You can tell by looking at me. I've been around for a while. And that was with an analog video synthesizer that I had built. And I discovered that uh, using two cameras uh, for uh, left and right image sources for 3D, that if you defocused one of them and then subtracted that image from the sharp image, that you were smuggling depth cues into images. Forty years ago, I discovered that. Well, you couldn't do anything 40 years ago. I had to wait for the world to catch up. I had to wait for images to become digital, which mm -hmm. finally has happened. And furthermore, I had to wait for digital technology to become fast enough that it could run the algorithm. And also probably uh, less expensive because 
you know, the early versions of the digital technolo technology that could do this sort of processing at speed would be very expensive. You have to ultimately make this product affordable, don't you? Yes, uh, that is the uh, roadmap that we're on. Uh -huh. uh, from my consumer electronics experience with the remote control, I think it's fair to say that we know how to do that and we will cost reduce it and get it built into the chips that are inside the TVs and inside the Blu-ray players and other consumer electronics equipment. And in that case, the uh, uh, cost difference is really tiny. That's right, because nobody's going to license it to a Blu-ray manufacturer. It's going to cost a nickel at that point. Something and, like and, that. And. So, um, uh, how much now if people want to buy this? Well, these are uh, you know low volume initial products. We're taking pre-orders on them now. The uh, retail price is two hundred and forty-nine dollars. And where do people go to get it? They have to go to our website, uh, DarbyVision.com. Okay, well, Paul Darby, founder and CEO of Darby Vision, thanks very much for joining us. Well, thank you very much. Okay, have a great show. I'm David Berlin, coming to you from CES 2012.